<laughs> the former president says he's looking forward to the rally. We have a lot of people coming, and I really believe that will be the safest place on Earth. Trump suffered a wound to his ear when he was shot in mid-sentence during an attempt on his life. I think I'll start the speech by saying, as I was saying, Paris is camp. Unaffordable housing, incomes down, unemployment rising, and a recession now headed our way. Repo men don't play around here in Atlanta. Got one just sitting over there in the street. Ew. Wait to get loaded up. How many people had their cars repoed? Uh, uh, all between 19, no, 2017 and 2019? How many? So bad, but uh, we know uh, in our hearts, God is with us. God is strongly with us. Trump also led a moment of silence for those who were killed. And he emphasized the hurricane's impact on farmers, saying their crops and livelihoods were badly affected. Swift actions needed to get the farmers access to loans and disaster recovery aid. He added he's working with Elon Musk to get Starlink for those who need internet. But Trump also criticized the federal government's response to the hurricane. The governor's doing a good job, but he's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. Meanwhile, the White House says President Biden spoke with Georgia Governor Brian Kemp last night. Governor Kemp has stated today that he spoke to the president and appreciated the offer of all the help the president has offered anything you need. And as the VP debate is coming up, Trump told reporters, I think J.D. is going to do great. He's a very smart guy. He's done a great job. On Tuesday, Trump is holding two cases. safe, but Kamala's been soft on crime since day one. As San Francisco District Attorney, Kamala let violent criminals go free including Devondre Broussard, who brutally assaulted a man. And when Kamala put him back on our streets, he murdered two innocent men in cold blood. Kamala Harris has always put criminals first. We're destroyed and many roads were washed out, stranding people in their homes and their communities. Fox News Denise Dillon tells us how a Cherokee County man plans to get them much needed supplies. People in the affected area need food, water, toiletries, and other supplies. Many want to help, but they can't get there by car or truck. But they can deliver all of these supplies by plane. Yes, yes, They're decimated. Widespread damage across western North Carolina. Video like this is hard for Casey Millsaps to watch. He has family and friends there. It's just near and dear to me, and there's a lot of people that love those mountains. Helene destroyed homes and businesses. Many are stranded with no power or cell service. They need help, but the problem is getting to them. Roads are impassable or washed out, but Millsap says he can help. He's a pilot. Not having road access has been a challenge, so... You know, you have these planes that are quite literally been the lifeline. Millsaps connected with three other pilots in the area who all plan to fly to North Carolina. There's a couple distribution centers up there, so we'll land at those airports and drop off the stuff, and then they've got helicopters taking the goods in. We've also got a bush plane that's going to try and get into uh, one of the really remote areas. Word quickly spread on social media. It's real cool that these guys are willing to do this. People all over Cherokee County dropped off donations. A good bit of first aid products, like some cleaning products, rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, um, bought toothbrush, toothpaste. I brought a plethora of things, but primarily I brought baby wipes, um, socks, and baby onesies. Millsap says he's willing to make as many trips as necessary to deliver this truckload of donations to help those in North Carolina. I've been given a blessed with a platform and I've been given the ability to, to help out and so you know that's that's naturally something that you want to do in a place that's special. Pilots from across the country have been participating in Operation Airdrop since Saturday, volunteering their time and skills to get much needed supplies to those who are stranded in their own communities. In Cherokee County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.